Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Yeah, hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. This is my little Woody. Um, that does sound rude. If you're uh, thinking about that the other way, you must uh, turn this off and go watch another video to calm yourself down. Anyway, Woody, we have got a friend in need. You know, hence the Toy Story pun. My friend on Twitter, Adam Ski, has got in touch. Okay, and he wants me to make a one pot meal. One pot. Hello, hello. One pot. Um, basically nice and cheap, just so that you can just chuck together quick, nice and easy and funky. So this one, it's going to take about 20 minutes to make. He wanted me to put beef in it, so that's what we're going to do. I've got stuff left over and a little bit of funky pasta sauce that I was given as a random gift for Christmas. Crazy. Who wants pasta sauce for Christmas? Mm. Let me show you what I've got. I've got an onion, courgette, a little bit of long grain rice. This is the funky pasta sauce I got given for some reason. Someone thought I would want that. Anyway. Got some strips of beef left over for Christmas as well. I'm just going to finally chop that. But you can use any meat you want. You can use pork, you can use minced beef, just all chopped up and just stir it all in. Anything you want, anything. Whatever you've got lying about. Turkey, chicken, pigeon. Pigeon. Uh, mushrooms, I've got some leftover mushrooms as well. They're sliced up. And what we're going to do is basically just chuck it all in this pan. And if you've got any herbs and spices that you want to chuck in, just grab stuff from your cabinet and just whack it all in. It's so customizable, you can do whatever you want with it. So this is one is for you, Adam, and uh, let's get going. We have a friend in need. Right here then guys, this recipe is so easy, I'm gonna get a puppet to do it. Boom! This is one of Phoebe's little Christmas presents, a chicken. Say hello. You like that? I did a little wave thing, that's actually my thumb in there by the way, but yeah, this chicken is gonna talk you through how we make this. So let's get on with it. First thing we're gonna do is we are gonna get our vegetables all prepared. Ta-da! Let's go. Right guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is grab this knife I've got here, plop it down nice and safe, take the skin off the onion and chop it nice and fine. So can you do that for me please? Good times. Hello Phoebe. <coughs> Are you going to bed? Yeah. Are you going to give me a kiss? Ugh, no tongues, okay, no tongues. Give me a cuddle. Ah, oh, do you love me? <coughs> no. No, no. Uh, uh. I don't want to choke I don't love it. Sorry about that, but a chicken's got to do what a chicken's got to do. High five. Anyway, check out the onion, all chopped up. Grab a courgette now. Look at this, nice big courgette. I'm just going to cut off the top and then the bottom. And then I'm going to leave the skin on. I'm just going to cut it nice and thin along there. Easy peasy. And I've just realised that I'm a chicken and I'm teaching you how to cook meat in the background. See that there? Meat. Good times. Right here then, guys. So the courgette's all sliced in the background. See that over there? Let's go have a look. Yeah, nice thick slices there. Good times. Cut my uh, beef up there. Felt a little bit sorry for the cow, but hey. I'm a chicken. Uh-huh. Look at this pan. It's on to heat. Can you see the flame there? Mm-hmm. What I want you to do is grab some olive oil, like so, and just pour some in your pan, like that. Lush. And the first thing we're going to do is basically chuck that beef in there to brown. So we'll get that oil nice and hot in there, and then we'll chuck the beef in with it. Whoa! Right here then, guys. So that pan down there is nice and hot, looking good. Grab yourself a spoon and just plonk it in there. Now grab your meat, you see, and with your knife, just pour shit in. That is looking good, my friend. We're going to give that about five minutes, nice and brown, and then we'll take it off the heat. Woo! Right, guys, this is the chicken reporting live from the beef. Look, it's brown already. It's looking good. That's only been about two minutes, so that's all it really needs. So in a minute, we're going to get that beef out of there and just plonk it into a little bowl. Hey, like that. Just like that. Just to sit it in there, and then we're going to cook our onion. I keep doing that, don't I? Woo! How about I go, yeah! That's a bit better. Yeah! Look guys, I got the beef out. Ooh, looking good, huh? Keep your pan nice and hot like that. And with the juices from the meat, grab your onions. And just chuck those in. Cool, you want to cook those for five minutes, okay? Five minutes. Yeah. Chick-tastic, guys. These onions are nice and browned. I am loving this. It's amazing. Right, grab your courgettes. Just dump those in. Look at that, it's all green. Amazing. Mm. Right, grab your mushrooms as well. Pop those in. This is a time if you've got any other vegetables to shove it all in as well. Remember, you can sort of get all creative with this. Any vegetable you want, but no chicken. So basically, guys, I'm just stirring this all through, making sure it's all nice and softened, and then we'll start to bring in the rice and our tomato sauce. Mm-hmm. 
Right guys, it's starting to get all softened in there. I love how mushrooms, they're all big and then all of a sudden you cook them and they go and they shrink. Loving it. Let's start to add more stuff in. First of all, let's grab our rice. Yeah. So 200 grams of rice. In that goes. Lush. Now let's grab our tomato sauce mixture. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Nice. That was kind of hard for a chicken to do, by the way. Keep going. Now grab your beef and put it back in there. Like so. And the next thing we need to do is just grab a load of spices, okay? Right, so this is a vegetable stock cube that I've grounded up. Uh, it's a vegetable one, not a chicken one, I might add, okay? Mm -hmm. Just pull that in there. Good. Now I'm going to get some black pepper. You see that? Just chuck that in there. And finally, some mixed herbs just in there. Pull that in there. What I'm going to do now is add a little bit of water to interact with our stock cube and that will be simmered now for about 15 minutes we're going to be ready to eat it. Chicken-tastic! Yeah! Yeah, so water, pour that in. Ooh! Nice! It was a little bit bone dry before, let me just pick you up and show you. Check this out, it's looking good, we need to bring that to the boil over a nice low heat, keep stirring it, blend it all in. We're going to mix these flavours up. Whoa! Right guys, hopefully you can see behind me there, we've got a simmering pot of multicoloured goodness and the smell is amazing, you're going to love it. Give it a stir every now and then if you want, but the main thing is to simmer it just to make sure the water all goes away and it starts to thicken, okay? And the rice will hopefully be revealed and all cooked. Amazing! Loving it, chicken-tastic. Yeah. Right here then guys, about 10 minutes in and behind me there, the rice is starting to soften as you'll see in a minute. Little chicken joke for you, what is the worst day of the week for a chicken? Friday! Get it? Chicken, egg, fry? No? Okay. Anyway, yeah, this pan. Let me just pull this up. You can see the rice is starting to soften there. That's great. That is what we're after. Let the water bubble away a little bit longer, and then it's ready to plate up. I'm actually going to have some garlic bread with mine. Mmm. You know. Right here then, guys. Looking good. All absorbed. Let's get out the pan. Mmm. Right, so this is the bit when Barry normally clicks his fingers, and then the plates appear, and the ingredients, and stuff like that. So I'm just going to go, boom. There's the plate. Now let's get the recipe on there. Boom. Amazing, huh? Not bad for a chicken, eh? Cha-ching! I'm just going to shove my garlic bread on the side. Et voila! Hey presto, let's have a better look at that. That is looking good, my friends. I am loving that. Let's see what it tastes like. Yeah! Right here then, guys. I'm just going to have a taste of this. Oh, wow. That tastes amazing. Well, thanks, Adam, for that recipe. And if I can do that, being a chicken puppet and all, absolutely anyone in the world can. So, have a go for yourself. Let me know how you get on, and I will, or Barry will, see you again next time. Bye! High five!